Hey YouTube, it's iPod Touch for Life 165 here, and in this video I wanted to show you how to change the loading screens on your iPod Touch or iPhone. Now if you don't know what I mean, usually when you open up an application at first, before it actually shows you the application, uh, there'll be a loading screen, which usually is like a bar at the top, a bar at the bottom, and then like a blank screen. And so when that loading screen disappears, your application opens. For example, if I were to open up my AIM application, as you can see, I have the loading screen here. It's just a bar, blank screen, another bar. And then my application actually opens and I can start to use it. Same here with Cydia. Uh, usually when you open up Cydia, it'll have like a black bar at the top, black bar at the bottom, and then a blank screen. I have changed that to a really nice loading screen where there's apples turning into pineapples through the little triangle. We got a nice little sunset, and I actually have it said Cydia. It actually says Cydia. All right, so today I'm going to show you how to change that loading screen. Uh, for your iPod Touch or iPhone. Now the only thing you'll need is Winterboard and you can download that from Cydia. Most of my uh, more experienced users will have Winterboard but if you do not already you can just download that from Cydia. It's a standard package. Install that, reboot your device, come back. Okay? So right now we're going to need to go onto our computer. Alright, and now once we're on our computer we're going to actually need the image that we are going to use for our loading screen. So we can go to the website I have in the description it's siphone.net uh, forward slash wallpapers and it's a great wallpaper site I've been using it a lot in my recent videos but anyways we're going to click on a category that we want I'm going to go for the music category so we can click on music and then we can click on the picture that we want to be our loading screen uh, I'm going to go for Taylor Swift because the rest of them look like freaks <laughs> alright and then we're going to uh, right click it and click save image as and then it's going to ask us where and what we want to save our image as. So in the file name, this is what we're going to name it. Capital D, lowercase e, lowercase f, lowercase a, lowercase u, lowercase l, lowercase t, dot, p, n, g. So it is capital D and the rest is uh, lowercase, it's default, dot, p, n, g. We can save that wherever we want. I'm going to save it to my desktop and we're going to click save and should save in no time at all, it's just a little picture file. And now we can close out of our internet browser, or minimize. And as you can see here, this is the image that we just saved, default.png. And at this point, we can now SSH into our device. If you do not know how to SSH, I'll put a link in the description on a good video on how you can SSH. So double click on WinSCP, or whatever you're using. And now we're going to log in. And now here comes the bit of a uh, you have a two you have two roads. Uh, if you do want to change the loading screen of a Cydia application or a App Store application, it does vary a little bit. So first, I'm going to take you through the App Store application. To change the loading screen of an App Store application, we're going to go back once, and then we're going to open up the folder that says Mobile or Mobile, and then we're going to open up the application that says application or the folder that says applications I'm sorry and now here comes a bit of a tricky part with App Store applications uh, iTunes when it syncs to your device it puts these applications into like random letter and number digit folders so in order to find the application that we want to change the loading screen of we have to kind of double click into each one so this one is Twitterific this one is text free and it goes on like that you have to find the one that you want to change I um, know that the first one is AIM.app. It's not in alphabetical order, but I just know that it is AIM.app for the first one. So as you can see here, it does say AIM.app. And you have to keep going through all those folders until you find the application that um, you are looking for. So since I showed you AIM at the beginning, I'll go with it anyways. So then I'm going to open up the folder that says AIM.app. And then we want to scroll down until we find the one that says default.png. Now this is that loading screen that's very plain with the two bars. And just in case uh, we want to revert back to it, all we have to do is right click on it, click rename, and we're going to name this default1. Click enter. And now uh, we don't have any loading screen at all because we've uh, made a backup of the original loading screen. Now we can take the uh, picture that we saved from our computer and we can drag and drop it into this folder like this and then we can click copy and then it's all set if we ever wanted to revert back to the original all we have to do is rename it back to defaults 
click enter, and then it'll say file default PNG already exists. Overwrite. All you have to do is click yes, and you'll be back to normal. But anyways, we wanted to change it to something more interesting. So this is the backup. This is the actual loading screen right here. And that's how you change the loading screen of a App Store application. Uh, now if we want to go for a Cydia application, if we're back in the var folder right here, uh, the original screen where everything's located, uh, now we want to open up the folder that says stash, applications dot six letters or digits or numbers. And here it's a lot easier because it's already named for you. You know what application you want to go for. So randomly, I will choose the hmm. We'll choose the calculator application. So double click in the calculator. And again, we want to back up the original loading screen. Unless you don't want to at all, you never want to revert back. Then you don't have to do this. But I'm going to do this just in case. Rename it to default one. And now we have a backup of this. And then I'm going to use the same image again of Taylor Swift for the uh, loading screen for the calculator app. So drag and drop, click copy, and we're all set. I can close out of WinSCP, and it's time to test it out on our iPod Touch or iPhone. Okay, and now I'm going to open up the AIM application, AIM. And as you can see, instead of the bars, I have a picture of beautiful Taylor Swift. All right, and then we are into the application. And then I will test it out with the calculator app application, which is a native application slash city. They all fall under the same category. We're going to click on calculator. And again, you see the picture of Taylor Swift or whatever you chose. Okay, guys? I hope you liked this video. Um, if it did, make sure to rate this video five stars. Of course, comment below. Favorite it if you, do, if you did like it. Um, subscribe, obviously, if you haven't already. And I do have some good news that I'm very excited about. This morning, it is uh, Black Friday today, I did order the new iPod Touch 3rd generation, and I'm really excited because, first of all, this is the first generation, it's kind of old, and it doesn't do a lot of the things that the new one does. Plus, when the untethered jailbreak comes out for the iPod Touch 3rd generation, I will be the first to do it. Or maybe not the first, but I will do the video for the untethered uh, iPod Touch 3rd generation jailbreak. So, I'm really excited, guys. Um, make sure uh, to stay tuned, because when I do get that in the mail, hopefully by December like 3rd, um, I will do an unboxing video of that, and plus my brother also got the new iPod Nano 5th uh, generation with the video camera and the, what's it called, radio, the new one, so I'll also do an unboxing of that, okay guys? So, very excited today. Uh, thank you guys for watching again, and I will see you guys later.